Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Teresa and I'm the Car Boot Crafter and I'm coming on today with a Starburst uh, card which I thought I'd have a go at because um, I've seen them everywhere the last couple of weeks. So uh, I thought I'd have a go. So I've got my card base and this is um, yeah, four and a half by seven and I've cut myself a piece which is about quarter of an inch shorter on the two sides which will give me a nice border it doesn't matter what card i use here because it's going to be covered up anyway um but i thought craft card make a nice change let me just reinforce that score on that there so i'm going to pop that to one side with the envelope don't need that just yet because this is what we're going to be working on now star cards you can have your points anywhere they can radiate from anywhere. Sometimes they radiate from the bottom, sometimes the top, sometimes out from the sides. I want mine to radiate around here. I'll tell you for why. Let me just grab. This is it's a 60th um, birthday card I'm making. And I want to pop it around there. And this is what's going to cover up all the, the messy joins, if you like. So I'm going to pop it in that corner there like that. So I want my starburst to radiate from there. So I've popped a nice big dot there to get me going. So you start off by, and you can use whatever sorts of glue um, it seems to be. Um, some people prefer to use a glue stick. Some people like wet glue. Um, I've seen other people using um, double-sided tape or, you know, the sheets of double-sided adhesive. Um, but I'm going to use good old wet glue because I can just re... Um, what can I do? I can reapply it. It can't. I, so I've popped wet glue down it seems to go really quick when you make a sunburst card so um, I'm putting plenty down but I'm not being overly generous because look what happens when you're overly generous your card starts to bend so I've got myself a whole bunch of paper that I have um, cut and I've just got loads and loads of scraps and cut them into these sort of random triangle shapes. Uh, let me show you how I did it just quickly. Give that a minute to get tacky. So just grab all your scraps, whatever scraps you want. And with little pieces like this, I probably just cut them in half. So I've popped them in my trimmer. And the great thing with this one is I've got my uh, wire there in the middle which helps me to line it up. And all I want to do is line up that point with that point. So I'm going to use my um, the gutter as a sort of a guide. Let's get that out of the way. Line that up with my, uh, my wire. Then I'm going to bring in my uh, blade. And I set it in the middle because this is not the best of blades I probably need to replace it and it keeps getting stuck I don't know why um, but it just gives me those triangle shapes and with my bigger pieces like this one what I do is I pop it in let's take that up there I pop it in so that this corner is lined up with my wire in there and then just sort of swing that around to where I want so I can have it as wide or as narrow as I like. Then bring the blade back in and again just set it in the middle and cut. And that gives me that one. And then just swing it keeping this one at the top. Swing this end down. Make sure everything's lined up with the wire. I'm happy about the width of it. Set it in. And then just do another uh, cut and just keep going like that. So I've just done the top, I'm going to do the bottom now. In fact, this piece I'm going to just do in half. So line it up on the wire like that. 
bring my uh, blade back in and there we go and that's some more done i'm going to pop that away uh so don't probably don't need any more right now bring that back in and that's definitely gone quite tacky and all you need to do then is just grab your papers whichever ones you want and start um so there's my dot if i turn it that way around so you can see there's my dot and i'm just going to put the point of my triangle just at the dot i'm not going to go over it like that i'm just going to meet the dot and lay it down like that simple as that and you just keep going with your papers um obviously some of the smaller papers i will put round that side so some of these shorter bits i'll save for round there but um the longer bits i will definitely use up here so and i kind of get the impression and i'm going to try it out that the uh more sort of random they are the better it looks i have seen some where they've used two or three different types of papers and they look good don't get me wrong they look great um but will that reach there yes it will um but yeah i kind of like the completely random look and you just keep going round and round so let me say and just be completely random with your papers give you some of the shorter ones this side look like that and just keep going round i've used um i just raided my scrap box um took out anything that was scrap that i kind of didn't know that i would use it for a particular project or anything is that going to reach no um so i thought yeah i'll just done that one already but i'm going to flip it over into that side gives it that yellow so i just grabbed whatever i could and just you know got chopping and this is what i got loads and loads of these random strips of um papers so as long as I'm keeping myself round about the point towards that dot that I've put on and just buff it, buff it up to the one next to it, you start getting this pattern. Now, <laughs> one of the things I did sort of think about was that at this stage, it doesn't really look much of anything. Um, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use it over this side, actually. Um, it doesn't really look much of anything. It's when you start to cut it that you start to see it emerge and it starts to look really good. Let's see if I've got a smaller one of those. No, I can start using some of these now, can't I? Um, yeah. Um, and some, of, some people have used the same colour palette and as long as they've used lots of different ones, that works really, really well. Um, but I just thought I'm going to give it a go and see how we get on with just using lots of lots of random, which I really liked the thought of. Um, can you, I'm going to save that for over that side. Um, I'm going to use this one here, I think. And the, the beauty is that, especially if you like this one, it's we're offset to there. I can use even tiny, tiny little scraps of, of paper. Let me see if I can find some that are quite small. So, yeah, so even something like that I can start to use now at this end because I only need that tiny little bit. And what you can do, oh, well, I'll talk about that when I get to it, probably going to be easiest. Let's pop this one here because I quite like this pattern. Maybe I, maybe I should have used this um, a bit where I can use a bit more of it. I'm going to pop a bit more glue down because I think we're starting to dry up a little bit now in this corner like that let's pop that down 
and as long as you keep butting it up and it's what you need to remember is that whatever happens here don't worry about it because this is going to cover it up which i thought yeah i can do that <laughs> i can do that one let me find some more nice that i haven't used so far so that's a nice one although you can't see much of the pattern on there because this is the short side um and just keep going so i'm going to use that one it's slightly fatter so use that there and yeah and now we're starting to get teeny tiny pieces that we can start to use so i've got this one that i'm going to use there oh no i'm not going to take it over this side i've just realized that i've got it here i've got it over here but i've also got it here so i don't want it too close together i've got another uh, stripy one it's different colors so i can use that one there so nearly done um, and you can cut them down so so some of mine are very thin as you can see and some of them are a bit chunkier but you can cut them down to um to fit or to take up oh well that's a nice piece let's pop that one in there that's a bit chunkier isn't it and we want one more possibly or maybe two Right, if I'm going to use that one there, I need a really thin piece, don't I? What about that yellow? Will that go? Just about, but I think what I have to do is glue on this side because it's going to overlap ever such a slightly little bit on that one side. There we go. And that is all you need to do. Except for the next bit, which is extremely satisfying. Just watching is satisfying so i'm anticipating that doing it is going to be really really fun so i'm going to grab my biggest scissors well maybe not my biggest ones anyway but a oh, let's see if i can find the other ones ah those are even better those are my biggest scissors <laughs> and then just making sure that's all push down flip it over and I can see the back of my card which is the size I want and now I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut right, I'm going to move all those over there because those I want to keep for tags and things and now I'm just going to follow the line of this card so just keep going all the way around, butting your knife, not knife, scissors up against the backing card, which is this nice cream linen effect card I've got. Keep going. Sometimes you might want to cut a piece off completely like that. Um, and just keep going. And it's so satisfying, all those pieces just dropping off like that. And then down here, keeping that scissors blade butted against the, the paper like that. And then flip it over and that is the reveal. Wow, that is, a re no, that is really good. I like that. Wow. So you get a, re I think you get a gorgeous look with just using the randoms i think i prefer them just going to i can see that piece just hasn't caught i'm just going to do that so that's that now i'm going to pop it onto my um card base like that so all i'm going to do is put some glue on the back and pop it onto the card base get all the way round and put some in the middle just to hold it all down like that this is just the um the tacky glue this is uh it, yeah the um clear tacky glue from 
the works just trying to think which one this is from the works so uh yeah let's pop that down on the card like that i'm just doing it by eye and they just frames it just lovely i really like that i'm really happy with that and then so i've got my 60 which i'm going to pop on there where i'm going to raise it up so i've got myself some dimensionals I'm just going to pop them on the back. So I think a couple of dimensionals. And these are quite nice thick ones, these are, to raise it up. Actually, if I move that off, I'm going to use three because it's a little bit bigger than these. I want some, uh, I want to keep that, um, give it a nice firm base for that. So let's take these off. And then I can pop it on there and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with my scraps so one two three and I'm going to turn it around so that I can see so that I can get it level so I'm popping 60 on there and I might get um, a happy birthday and put across the top or something but I think as a background to a card that is really good so let me pop that to one side and i'm going to grab where did i put my there it is now some of these are still quite big so i'm going to just cut these down again so using exactly the same principle i'm lining up my um paper into the along the wire to get that uh, and there you go and now I have two more actually if I cut that with my scissors that's going to be even better there we go so I've got scraps but I can still use them even more and this one because it's got this at the end I can't I'm going to have to use it quite short so I'd use it sort of down here rather than try and fit it up here because obviously that gap there is going to show but yeah now I've got some more and I'm going to do that with all of my pieces apart from obviously these very very small pieces that um, oh, I might even be able to use that one um, and that one although it's got that odd angle I can recut it from that point up to there so um, and if I've got my little guillotine which I can't see at the moment it's in here somewhere <laughs> but actually using the guillotine on some of these smaller pieces might actually be uh, be easier all of these all that's missing is that little point there so I can just re, in fact, I can even use my scissors because these are so long. Just go from that point all the way down to there. And I've created that one and that one, which I could have used to fill in that tiny little gap there, couldn't I? Pop them there. Um, but some of, the, some of them I can't use. I know that. This one I can use. Even though it's got that little cut there, I can use that. That one I could probably use, but I'm not going to bother. That one, that one I'm not. This one I can definitely use. Just recut it. Um, but if life's too short and you've had enough of your papers or if you've finished your project, then, then if you want to bin them, bin them. So again, I've got that one and that one. And like I said, that, that point is a little bit off, but I'm not worried because it's going to get hidden. This one I'm going to use again. That piece is too small. That one I'll use again. That piece is a little bit too small. And it all depends on how much you like the papers as well. Some of them I'm not that keen on, so I'm not going to be too fussed. So, let's pop them in the bin. So I've got rid of uh, a load of scraps, created a card, 
and got more scrap to create even more. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to, in fact, maybe I'll do that. Have I got enough time? I don't know. But I'm thinking a little tag to go with it. So I've got a bit of card. Actually, wouldn't, yeah, a bit of... Uh, matching card for the uh yep yeah, that matches right let's move those out of the way and i'm just going to cut a three by six so three by oh gosh you can't quite get to six on this so there's five and a half and i'm going to guess him at six like that there we go so that's about a three by six and because it's about i'm not going to score it with my scoreboard i'm going to fold it over on itself give that a good and i'm going to do exactly the same only this time i'm not going to put um, a piece of um, card on this i'm just going to go for it so Let's glue all of that. Got my dot already. And this is now going to be the, the tag for the present. Yeah, why not? Using the same papers, um, it's going to match. What you need to do is make sure you get close to the edge. Uh, not right on top, I suppose, but as close as you can, as close as you dare. Right, let's start. I'm going to pop that one on first again lining that up as close as I can um, we've got that one actually I'm going to pop that one this side because it's a little bit longer I've got this one which I love can I get it on there no I can't I'm going to save it for the other side let me grab that one I'm going to save that for the other side as well <laughs> That one, that one, definitely. Let's pop that on there like that. I've got, yep, I've got that one, which I can ring in like that. It's so quick and easy and a little bit addictive, I think. I think I'm going to be quite addicted to this. Right, now, is that to a point? No, it's not. Uh, Actually, I'm going to use that one instead. Let's use it up here. Like that. And I'm just going to keep going. Um, what do I want? I don't want one of them. I do want one of these. Actually, I'm going to cut this one instead. Instead of wasting one of those big long ones. There we go. I'm going to pop that one on there like that i'm going to use that thin piece that was an off, off cut of it there like that look i'm just going to keep on going i can use this side on this one can't i let's just slice down from there to there and i'm not too fussed or too worried because I'm only using that tiny little bit. I'm going to use that one, that off cut on this side look. Like that, because I'm only using that tiny little bit. And I'm going to keep doing that actually, because it is such a small corner there. So, ooh, might use that one instead. That on there, it's getting a little bit twisted on my point, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry. Um, got this piece now. I'm going to slice up. I'm going to use this side. Can use it around here. One of the things I am conscious of when I'm putting them down is if I've got a piece of this already. So this piece, when I put it that side, it just felt a little bit too close. That's why I've brought it round here and popped it on there like that. 
um, I'd like to use that piece but I've got a piece there and it's all of that's getting a bit too close um, I've got that piece I'm going to pop so I've got that there so I'm going to pop it on the other side like that now let's see if we've got any more pink pieces uh, let's have a look oh that's a nice piece um, can I I'm just going to do you know what I'm just going to cut it like that doesn't really matter does it um as long as we get that triangular shape and we only need another couple of pieces let's have another look i've already got that one twice have i got this one twice nope so i can pop that one on there or is that too thin maybe i can find another piece let's move that out of the way Do -do -do. oh it's just such fun just popping things down like this that's a little bit wider not by much though so i'm probably going to still see need two pieces so i've got that one which is too similar to that one um, and that's the same let's see come on i must have some more somewhere no nope, can't use that one um this is the thing isn't it now there we go because i'm trying to be random of course it doesn't work when you try to be random does it i could put that piece in there and then i've got okay i'm going to use that piece and then i have that very thin piece which i'm going to i'm going to put that in a bit further than i probably would normally i'm going to cut that end off just to finish it off so it has got a bit of a blunt end there but uh, that's going to do in fact i'm going to put a little bit more glue on there like that because it's over the top of some of those papers like that okay so let's move all my other triangular bits away and yep that's still yep okay and give that a minute turning it over i'm going to pop my finger there to hold everything in place as i start cutting and again some of these i can use again because some of them are nice big pieces and some of them like that yellow one that's about to go i mean that all i need to do is re resize that there turn that round and keep going or if you've got lots and lots of scraps then you know bin them it's highly up to you isn't it what you want to do but there we go and then we have oh wow oh i like that again i like that let me grab another so these are my my um these are where my uh circular things are coming from and this one i think i'm gonna pop on for happy birthday yeah or shall i go with special day i'm gonna go with special day i think and now i have a card and a um gift tag for a very special person who's celebrating 60 very soon so let's pop these on here one i'm gonna go with three again just to give it that uh support underneath three like that and pop them on and because they've used the same base color card as well i think they're going to match even better um and then the papers that i've used on there are, are the same so let me turn that around i've got that down that corner like that and pop that on there like that so now out of a bunch of scraps that i didn't know what i was going to do i have a birthday card which i'm gonna i think i will put a little happy birthday across here 
um, either stamp it onto some card um, or some craft card um, and pop it on there just to give it a bit more interest on the front but I think for a man's card especially these are and it doesn't matter that there's bits of pink on there because it gets balanced up with all the more neutral colours um, but I really like them um, I might do a few more of those um, I might even do my Christmas cards like this okay guys so that was my first go at making starburst cards I hope you like the idea and uh, I'll see you all in the next video so take care bye for now